Welcome to our YouTube channel, All America Selections Flowers and Vegetables. Today I'm going to show you how to plant a large container with flowers to attract hummingbirds, pollinators, and other beneficial insects. We're going to plant into a 20 gallon container. You can pick these up at most big box stores. This is a galvanized metal container. Make sure you put holes in it. Two of the biggest problems people have when trying to grow in containers is they don't use a soil that holds enough water and they also get containers and don't put holes in it. If this container holds water, it's going to rot the roots out, it's going to kill your plants off. If you have a container soil in there that doesn't hold a lot of water, they dry out too fast and the plants just don't take off, they just don't flourish. This is the 2011 AAS winner, Summer Jewel Red beautiful red trumpets on there that are going to get about a half an inch long. This plant gets about 20 inches tall and it's just beautiful. Beautiful red color. It's going to attract the hummingbirds to your containers. In the centerpiece we're going to drop in a dwarf butterfly bush. You want to put your taller plants in the middle, your smaller plants around the outside. So let me get this set up. We'll drop in the potting mix, we'll fertilize, and we'll get the plants planted. So I recommend filling your container with 50% any potting mix, and then the other half 50% peat moss or cocoa, cocoa core, mix it together well. The peat moss and cocoa core really hold water. You want that for your container mix. If you want to subscribe to our channel, we don't run any YouTube ads. We just put out great gardening videos to help you in your garden. And we also do a lot of videos on different plants you may want to grow in your garden. There's no ad, so please subscribe. I'll be doing a video on how to make your own I'll potting mix. I'll be doing mix. a video on how to make your own potting mix, save money, and we use a uh, kitty swimming pool just to mix it all together. You want to put in about, in a 20 gallon container, three large handfuls of any organic fertilizer. This is a chicken manure, and just mix it through. This preps your soil. You want to leave about one inch on the top because we're going to mulch when we're done. It's nice and loose, it's going to hold water, there's a hole in the bottom. So this is the dwarf butterfly bush. It's going to attract butterflies and other beneficial insects and just loosen the outer part of the root ball and you just drop it in. You definitely want, for a butterfly bush, you want a dwarf variety or you could use butterfly weed or something along that line. The Summer Jewel Reds are next, and these are wonderful plants to grow from seed. They grow really, really quickly. They'll get to bloom in about 50 days to a nice mature size, and these are just getting started. They're going to get 18 inches, 20 inches tall, fill into around here, and it's just going to be a nice combination of red and purple flowers. And just loosen the ball a little bit. And you're always dropping it in to the same depth that it is in its container. Now these plants are a bit fragile, so be careful. Press it in. I like using odd numbers. Visually, it just looks better. Gently break the outer roots. We'll put this one over here. So we're going to put in three. Keeping the root ball at the same depth, pressing it in. And it looks great already. And same process. All right, so they're in. Let me get the mulch set up and we're going to water it in with a water fertilizer and I may pop in a few more plants right in here. So here's our large container of flowers. This is just getting going. In two weeks this is going to double in size. Absolutely beautiful. It's going to bring in the hummingbirds, pollinators, beneficial insects, and we just took a 20 gallon metal container, filled it full of potting mix, peat moss, cocoa core, and planted it in. After you put your plants in, Add in some mulch, that helps keep the moisture in, and again, moisture is the key. Keeping moisture in your container pots is a key to having really, really healthy flowers. Once it's mulched, water it in with an organic water-soluble fertilizer. I like to use fish emulsion and just really soak it in. And you can do this one or two times a month just to keep the nitrogen in there for your plants. After you water it in, you're going to want to soak it in one more time just with your hose. Make sure it's nice and saturated. I think we're going to take that container and we're going to drop it right into that spot. 
I'll be doing videos on pollinators and beneficial insects. I'll show you how this whole section here begins to bloom, talk about the different plants, and we'll plant some more AAS winners in there. And remember, when you buy an All-America Selections winner, the proof is in the plant. And you can definitely see that in the 2011 AAS winner, Summer Jewel Red Salvia.